Hello guys, Shubham here. Back again in another video. So today we are reviewing the ROM, which is far most one of the stable and smooth since the Android 10. The ROM is everyone's personal favorite because of its stability and also the smoothness. So this is Lineage OS of version 19.1 based on Android 12.1 or 12L. So without any further ado, let's get into this video and see the installation and complete review of this ROM. Now let's first dive into the system information. So talking about the system then obviously it's an Android 12 L ROM which is of lineage OS of 19.1 version. So as you can see this is the latest security patch of 5th of May 2022. Kernel version is the default kernel which lineage OS uses itself not a silver core kernel or anything else. So moving on next, it's about Lineage 19.1 features. Talking about the features, then you will get all the features which you usually get in all the stock ROM out of the box. That's what Lineage 19 or Lineage OSs are famous for. You will get the stock experience with not at all or none of the customization. You will get all the basic features which you will get in all the other stock ROMs itself. The essence of simplicity stays in 12.1 ROM 2. You can't expect much from the Lineage OS builds like you expect from other ROMs such as CR Droid or any other ROMs itself. Rest all the features of Android 12 L has been adopted by Lineage OS build. System features such as buttons, languages and input and all the other features everything works fine and you won't face any of the issues in any of the features as being personally tested by me so now something needed to be mentioned that is the gaming performance so i have installed call of duty mobile on this phone i tried all the high settings as you can see on my screen itself as everyone knows that lineage doesn't offer any type of dedicated gaming mode or something like that but still out of curiosity I wanted to try gaming on this ROM with all the high settings itself. So let's deep dive into the gameplay of this. So as you can see, I am playing Call of Duty Mobile on high settings as I shown you in the last frame. While playing I haven't feel any type of jitter, lag or anything else as everyone worked out smoothly. Don't judge my gaming skills as I'm not that good at all in gaming too. So that's all about the gaming performance. The gaming performance is good in Lineage 19.1 and you are good to go if you are a gaming person too. Now let's talk about the real business that is battery performance. Most of the people who are using Lineage since Android 10 know that the battery performance offered by Lineage OS is pretty much good. Once you charge to 100% then you can go all day long. It will leave you behind about 20-30% to 30 at the end of the day. That's how Lineage OS works as a stock ROM with really minimal customization or almost no customization. But in terms of battery, Lineage OS always nails. So yeah, be rest assured when it's about Lineage OS 19.1 and you will get pretty good amount of screen on time and battery life. Now let's move toward the safety net check bypass. So talking about the safety net check then sadly Lineage OS doesn't come rooted out of the box. That means you can add huge payment applications like Google Pay, ATM and all the other banking applications. For this, you have to flash Magisk itself after installation of the ROM to get root access and use all the payment applications. If you want a dedicated tutorial on how to flash Magisk on Lineage OS, then comment down below and make a video on it. Now let's talk about the photography that is Gcam compatibility. As everyone knows that the stock camera which you get in the all the ROMs right now and also it applies for Lineage OS is the camera which you cannot use 
with much of the features. It's a simple camera application but rest assured as you can anytime use the G-Cam which is of version 8.2. This camera is packed with all the features you can ever imagine and you can use on the professional level. Talking about the 4K recording and taking videos in 24, 30, 60 FPS then you can switch amongst it too. So stay rest assured you can use the G-Cam also in this ROM rather than using the stock camera which comes pre-installed in this ROM. So now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So talking about the Antutu benchmark then the Antutu score was something lying between 31 lakh 95,000 and 96. This was pretty strange for me as the ROM which I reviewed before which was CR Droid was having pretty high Antutu score of 33 lakh. But never mind as never depend on numbers as this number might fluctuate. So that's all about the Antutu benchmark. Now let's talk about the real thing that is installation steps. So installing this ROM is pretty much simple. Just power every device. Long press, volume up and power till you land on the recovery itself. So this is the TWRP recovery interface. Make sure you are using TWRP recovery of version 3.6 as all the Android 12 ROMs get flashed properly on this recovery. Go to wipe advanced wipe and wipe all the partitions mentioned in the video itself without wiping the internal storage. Swipe to wipe as I am not using this because I am already flashed this ROM. Now click on install and see the ca order carefully of what all you need to install. I have made a separate folder of Android 12 installation from there. You have to install first the firmware. After that add more zip and then navigate back where you have downloaded and stored your ROM. Then select this Lineage OS 19.1 build. Then again click on add more zips and now you have to select the G apps which you have downloaded. Once you pile up this you have to just swipe to confirm flash. I am not flashing this because I have already done and I am on Android 12 19.1 Lineage OS. Once this is done the very important step is flashing DFE that is disable force encryption. So once you do this, you are all set. Flashing DFE is quite important as your phone may get encrypted and you may run out with the encrypted storage. Once you do this, click on reboot and reboot to system. So this is how you can easily install Lineage OS 19.1 hassle free without any issues. So now it's time for conclusion. So talking about this build then the lineage os 19.1 is such a rom as its legacy itself says that it doesn't have much of the customization lineage os is the builds which are made for people who doesn't like much customizations in their phone and want stability smoothness and jitter free experience which can be used as a daily driver so in terms of that, this latest build of Lineage OS fulfills every need you can ever imagine. So for people who are not much into customization and love the simple and sober look of your device, then this is it. This ROM is made for you and further on, they will add many more stuffs in it. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content. Until then, see you again in the next one. Peace out.